Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So this is the third part for module number five, database security. So here we discuss about the security and precision. So precision is more inclined to the uh, to show the user the uh, non-sensitive information, while security is more concentrated towards the sender, which forbids to access the sensitive data. Mm. Data inference. What is the data inference? Means that uh, it is a way to infer or derive sensitive data from non-sensitive data. For example, sometimes you you take some obvious data, some normal data from the uh, from some databases, from some some airline office, or some like uh, from any ministry or something. Some some reports like need reports in Saudi Arabia. So uh, you can take some non-sensitive data, but from the sometime from the non-sensitive data you can infer the sensitive information exactly. Mm, the inference problem is a subtle vulnerability in a database security. Okay, so inference is just like to uh, to go from known to unknown. So in a short way, I can say that what is the data inference? It is just going from known to unknown. There is a different kind of attacks. One is called direct attacks, uh, uh, and the second one is uh, uh, the indirect attacks or by some calculations. Okay, uh, if you see over here, in the direct attack means like for example, you directly issue some command that select name from staff via drugs equal to one. Okay, so that is the direct. Uh, you you ask directly some information about some people. Okay. Sometimes you infer from some statistical information just like if you have some data, but you don't know the um, The average you don't know about the standard deviation. You don't know about the uh, The different statistical uh, formulas if you have you can apply on it. So from that is the indirect attack Okay, so if you apply this query directly to some website, maybe this is this query may be suppressed it will not be uh, they will not give you result for that one. Okay, usually the direct attacks are stopped. While the indirect attacks, sometimes you ask for the seat information or for the airline or some information from the ministry, tourism ministry, but from they can provide you the information, but from that information you can infer some more sensitive data and you can launch some attack on it. Okay, so attack has issue queue that directly yield sensitive data. This one. This kind of queries can be launched, attack can be launched using the SQL injection vulnerabilities. If a system has a, if a, if a database system has a SQL injection vulnerabilities, this kind of attacks can be launched easily, but not in a, uh, not in a normal form. Might make it less obvious, for example, like this one, this is more, uh, this is more like a specific, where you specify the gender and you specify the drug name, okay. In indirect attacks, if you see that it is the inference mm, from unknown to the known to the sensitive data from statistical results. So here, statistical results are involved like to find the averages to mean, mode, uh, standard deviation, okay, regression, and uh, chi-square. So different for different statistical results you can apply on it, and then you can infer some. Uh, and you can even forecast some of the important things. You can forecast the attacks as well. The indirect attack seeks to infer a final result based on one or more intermediate statistical result. Both this approach requires work outside the database itself. So for the sometimes the direct and indirect, you need to take the information and then analyze it, and then you can have a, some information about the sensitive data. Mm, some data released by governments, as I told you that sometimes some of the uh, government agency or state ma state banks they release some of the uh, data or information for public uh, for public uh, right to inf right to information uh, so for in right to information act okay, so according to that act they the people should know about the different data from that data the the malicious user or the attackers can reveal some uh, some information by applying some statistical methods Statistical inference attacks uh, are different times. Like sometimes you can sum up your data, just like the salary. Okay, uh, you can you can apply some function on that one. Sometimes you can find uh, can apply the count function, as you can ap apply the mean function, average function, okay? and you can apply more function as I told you about the regression, standard deviation, chi-square, okay? and uh, different probabilistic reliability. 
and uh, uh, kind of uh, factors you can apply on it. <coughs> so the sum is usually is a is is a leak sensitive data if sum covers only one record or if attackers can control set of cover records. Count useful in attack above. You can count the people who who get so much salary. Mean you can you can count the mean of a uh, different mean salary for all employees, mean salary for all including the president and then find the salary for the president easily so you can you can guess the salary of a president from the mean salary of the employees the minimum maximum how to control the statistical inference attacks so in the databases they have one of the attacks is called the statistical inference attack from the known to the unknown since we need to disclose some of the information from database for uh, marketing purposes, for sale purposes, for the uh, Public Right to Information Act. So in that case, but the malicious user in the uh, the attackers they they get benefit from the from the known information and they apply some statistical um, uh, statistical uh, function on it and and get their own desired results. Okay. So if you see over here uh, how to control it means. There are two ways. One is called suppression, and another is called concealing. So suppression, you totally, uh, you totally disregard, or you, or you totally uh, reject the query. That I am not going to entertain this query. Why? Because this query, uh, for the X Y Z query, can reveal some. Uh, some inference attacks on it okay some something are concealing sometimes you give some information some values but not the exact value okay so this by this way when the concealing form they can they can take advantage of it so apply control to the query to uh, to or data items effective primary against the direct attack uh, yeah the direct attacks are stopped just like i told you about this uh, suppression as it is difficult to determine whether a given query discloses sensitive data or not Suppression and concealing are two control applied to data items. Suppression suppresses sensitive data from the result. The query is rejected without response. Okay, so if you if you came to know that this query can can lead to inference, so you just suppress it. Concealing is that you answer um, some of the query answer is close to the actual value but not the exact value. Suppression and concealing reflect the reflect the contrast between the security and precision. Okay. So uh, the, between the security and precision, this suppression and concealing, these are two phenomena that exist. Here I will give some of the example. Uh, one is called n item and k percent rule. If you have n item, so how much percent should be revealed and how much percent should not be revealed. For example, eliminating certain low frequency frequency elements from being displayed. Sometimes. The low frequency elements, just like the president salary or vice president salary, or some uh, some of the high high paid salary, you can eliminate certain low frequency elements from being displayed. You can you you can you can deny to uh, to show information about that. If there are n records, for example, if there are n records in a database or in a table, and they represent over k percent of the reported result, omit these results from the from the results. Omit these records from the results. Why? Because if there are n records and they represent over the k percent of the reported result, okay, so means the extra result, the low frequency result, you can omit it, and sometimes you can you can omit the k percent of the reported result. We will show you in the example that how, what do you mean by this k percent? We will tell you the more detail about combined result, report set of range of possible values. Mm, sometimes uh, you can you can you can you should not give the uh, the combined results of our various tables or report set or range of possible values random sample compute results on random sample of database records mm, randomly you can give but sometime uh, the computing result on the random sample of database records may lead to uh, the control of the statistical inference attack and next you need to use the same sample for equivalent queries mm, uh, for example sometime if a query you you think that it's uh, it can be a dangerous for the inference attack, you can give some equivalent query to the database and uh, and the, and that query can be executed while the exact query should be rejected. <clears throat> like for example, here you can see drug use, how many drugs the people use, male and female. Okay, here it's a combined effect of that one. So here you combine it, and here you can see one plus one here becomes two, and here you made for two plus one becomes three. And here 2 plus 2 becomes 4 here and 2 plus 0 becomes 2 so here is the combined results of all the uh, people over here 
controls for statistical inference and tracks so here ran more two other things are the random data uh, perturbation uh, as you uh, as you know about the word perturbation means like uh, uh, some kind of like uh, uh, disturbance or sometimes say that it's uh, in a mathematical form or in a uh, in a in a probabilistic way perturbation leads to some phenomena which uh, where we try to find the result of some phenomena for which the solution is not easy is not exact okay so you can see the probabilistic solution for a difficult problem so random data perturbation add or subtract small uh, random error to and from value before computing the result so by this way you can add or subtract some of the values over here um, to uh, to find the result our expectation is that statistical properties are maintained so, so random data perturbation is means it uh, expectation value expected value in the statistics probabilities are also maintained over here to control the statistical inference attack so here usually is the uh, random data per 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 perturbation means just like to find out the values which has a, a difficult solution here we have a query analysis means like uh, maintain the history of user query requests and observe the possible inference okay this can be costly why because we cannot maintain the query request for various uh, people why because we have a sometimes we have a many user we have many customer we have many clients so it becomes very difficult to keep the history of of uh, user query and then and then to check whether uh, the, the inference is possible or not okay Mm, uh, but in that one, in the random data per, uh, perturbation, we can see that we can add or uh, subtract small, small random number or error for each value before computing of the result. Okay, so these are the different controls for statistical inference attack, uh, which can be, uh, which is very important for say, information security specialist. If you are information security specialist in a in an organization and uh, and you are one of the responsibility. Uh, with respect to the operating system security, with respect to the network security, or with respect to the um, the or policy, you have also the uh, responsibility for the database. So you must uh, you must control all these things: query analysis, random data per uh, perturbation, and random sample, combined results, and item key percent rule, and uh, like this one, uh, suppression and concealing, which is between the security and precision and uh, statistical inference attack so these were the uh, the different um, items which we discussed here so with this one we come to the end of this chapter uh, i hope everything will be clear clear in case if there's any question and any uh, query you can send me directly email uh, about that certain topic or certain uh, terminology if there is anything confusion over here uh, thank you very much so nice of you for all the students